In this video, we'll cover how to create an event on Eventbrite. Starting from your events workspace, click Create Event. If you don't have this option, you may not have permission to create events. Contact your account's admin or owner and request that they add the permission to create an event to your role. First, you're prompted to enter the basic information for your event. Starting with your event title. This can be up to 75 characters and should be clear and concise. More details about your event can be added later under the Details tab. Next, choose the organizer profile hosting the event. The organizer profile is a single page where attendees can view all of the public live events that you currently have listed under that profile. Select a category for your event and add tag words. These will help us market your event effectively. Enter a location by searching the venue's name or address. If you're hosting an online event, we recommend visiting our Help Center or YouTube channel for content specific to online events. If you're announcing your venue at a later date, select To Be Announced. To host a reserved seating event, toggle on Reserve Seating and visit our Help Center or YouTube channel for related content. This video will focus on general admission events only. Next, enter a start and end date and time for your event to take place. You cannot sell tickets after the end time of your event. A single event has one start date and one end date. Reoccurring events should be used for events that repeat more than once at the same location where attendees need to purchase a separate ticket for each time slot. If you are hosting a recurring event, there is a video linked here to show you how to create and manage this type of event. If you want to hide the start or end time on your event listing page, uncheck display start or end time. The time zone defaults to the time zone of the address into the location field. Finally, click Save and Continue to progress to the Details tab. Add an event image by dragging and dropping the file, or click the dedicated area to browse your device. Adjust the crop lines or reposition the image, and click Save. Refer to the feature description for image size and dimension specs. Add a summary and description of your event. This will show up on Eventbrite Discovery pages and in Google Search. You can add additional text, images, or video boxes by clicking the relevant buttons below. When adding text boxes to the description, you can change the font size, bold and italicized text, and add hyperlinks, numbers, or bullet points. You can reorder your description text, images, and videos by clicking the directional arrows, or delete an element by clicking the trash can. When you're done designing your description, click Save and Continue to proceed. Next, on the Tickets page, you can select another event to copy the ticketing setup from, or click to start creating new tickets. Click Add Tickets to get started. Then choose between Paid, Free, or Donation Ticket Type. The Donation Ticket Type allows attendees to choose the amount they'd like to pay. See the article linked in the video description for more information on the Donation Ticket Type. Enter the name of your ticket and the maximum quantity that you'd like to sell. Then enter the ticket price. Choose to absorb the fees from the ticket price you set or add them on top of the ticket price to be passed on to the attendees. To see how fees and taxes apply to each ticket type, click the View Details button. To pick a specific date and time for your ticket to go on and off sale, leave the box titled When a Ticket's Available set to Date and Time, and select a start date and time for your ticket to go on sale and an end date and time for the ticket to go off sale. To stagger sales and have your ticket go on sale when another ticket goes off sale or sells out, toggle the When Sales End For box selection and then select which ticket you would like to trigger this ticket to go on sale. There are additional settings you can access here when you open the Advanced Settings section. We have a video linked here that goes into more depth about creating tickets if you're interested in learning more about these settings. If you're hosting a paid event, before you publish you will want to click on Payments and Tax and set up your payment options, payment method, refund policy, and your event tax settings. Your payment options allows you to select your payment processor, the country and currency you'll be paid out in, and activate offline payment methods, like pay by cash or invoice. Your payout method tells Eventbrite how, where, and when to send your ticketing funds. Your refund policy will determine if and when your customers can request a refund through the contact form on your event or on their order confirmation. And finally, you'll need to confirm your sales tax settings for your event. Depending on where your event is taking place, a growing number of states and municipalities require Eventbrite to remit sales tax on behalf of the seller. You can learn more about the Marketplace Tax Collection via our Help Centre. Once you've set up your tax settings, 
You can review the impact of these settings on each ticket's total price and revenue by navigating back to the tickets page and reviewing the view details section of your ticket types. Lastly, make sure to confirm your order form and order confirmation prior to publishing. This will allow you to customise the information that is gathered from your attendees during checkout and customise what information they receive on the order confirmation email. Check out the video and Help Centre article on how to update these settings. Next, click on Publish to preview and publish your event. Always preview your event to make sure your event build displays as you'd like it to. Then adjust your privacy settings and choose your publish options. Publish Now will make your event live when you click Publish, while Schedule Publish will allow you to publish your event at a later date. And that's it. For more help planning your next event with Eventbrite, sign up for an interactive Eventbrite Academy session or visit our Help Centre, blog or YouTube channel.